Hello all and welcome back to my channel. My name is Chandramani Pandey and thank you very much for watching my other videos. In today's video, I will show you how we can upgrade device to Windows 11 24H2 using Intune Predictive Remediation Script. As you may already know, Windows 10 will reach end of life on October 14, 2025. So it's important to upgrade device from Windows 10 to Windows 11 as early as possible without waiting for the last minute rush. Over the past few months, I have worked on several projects focused on upgrading machines from Windows 10 to Windows 11. I have observed that Intune did a good job upgrading most devices using auto patch or feature update policy. However, about 5 to 10 percent of the device often remains in a state where for various reasons they cannot be upgraded using the standard methods and we need to do a lot of troubleshooting to fix the issue. To address this, I developed a script that leverages the Windows Update Assistant tool to upgrade the device through a proactive remediation scripts in Intune. You can consider this as a backup solution for scenario where Intune is unable to upgrade the device through regular means. So let's take a look at how you can configure an update device using Intune proactive remediation script. But before we begin, if you are new to my channel or haven't subscribed yet, please make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos and also don't forget to like share and leave your feedback in the comment section so now i am on my client machine and to upgrade a device from windows 10 to windows 11 24h2 using intune predictive remediation script we need the detection script and the remediation script i have already downloaded the detection and remediation script from my github and i will provide the link in the description section. So let me go to my download folder. And within the download folder, I have a detection script and I have a remediation script. So let me open the detection script first. So in this script, you have to update the one user input section called disk space. For now, for testing purpose, I am using a device where I have 45 GB free disk space but you can adjust this disk space requirement as per your choice. But Microsoft suggesting you have to go with minimum 65 GB free disk space. And then what you have to do, you have to create a productive remediation in Intune portal. So let me go to the Intune portal and within Intune portal, we have to go to the devices and within devices, we have to go to the scripts and remediation. And then we have to create a remediation script in which you have to provide the name. Let me provide the name called upgrade to Windows 11 24 H2. Same thing I am going to provide in the description and then click on next. And then you have to update the detection script. So let me select the detection script. And then for now, I am not going to upload the remediation script. And then make sure that you select this option, run this script using the lockdown credential because we are going to create a registry under the HKCU. So that's why we want to use this. And then we also want to select run script in 64 bit PowerShell and then click on next and then click on next. And here if you want, you can assign this to a specific group of devices. But for now, for testing purpose, for demo purpose, I am going to show you how we can trigger on demand productive remediation scripts and then click on next and then click on create. Now we can see that our script is now ready for the testing purpose. Before that, let me show you my client machine. So this is my client machine and if we go to the access worker school. You can see that this device is managed using Intune. We can see that the Windows update policy is already applied on this machine. We can see that the last sync is also showing as successful. And if we open the WinWork command, we can see that the machine is on Windows 10 version 22 H2. So let me 
go to the Intune portal. But before that, let me open the logs. Which is under program data. Microsoft and then Intune management actions and logs. We can see that here we don't have any extra logs. Let me go to the Intune portal and then we have to select the device. On which we want to trigger the on demand protective remediation. So let me find the device name. So this is my device and now here we have to go to the three dots and then in last we have an option called run remediation. Click on that. And then we have to select the script which we want to deploy. So this is my script upgrade to Windows 11 24 H2 and click on run. And now we can see that the run remediation is triggered on the machine and status is showing as pending. So now if we go to the logs, we can immediately see that there is a log created called upgrade to Windows 11 24 H2. We can read this log and see what is happening on the device. And now in the detection log, we can see that the Windows Autopilot ESP is not running and it is now checking the OS version. Then it is finding the OS version, which is 19.04, not on Windows 11, meaning that. Now last check for update date and time is this, meaning that machine is also checking for the latest update automatically. Windows PC health check application is not installed. Checking if the device meets the Windows 11 hardware requirements. So TPM version is 2.2 is present, meaning that the requirement is okay. Secure boot is enabled. Again, the requirement is okay. Processor is 64 bit requirement is okay. System has a 64 GB or more RAM. Okay. Available disk space is at least 45 GB is also okay. Setting registry to skip the Windows PC health check status check. So I as I mentioned that when you are creating a detection script, you have to run that script under the user context because we have to create a registry in HKCU and then preparing device for upgrade for creating registries to to skipping and then system is not on Windows 11 24 H2 and meet the hardware requirement. So initiating the reproductive remediation script. So let me show you the registry as well as which we created using this script. So if we go to the registry and go to the HKCU, go to the software, and then Microsoft. So within Microsoft under HKCU, we have created a registry called PCHP, meaning that PC health check and we created a registry called upgrade eligibility is equal to one, meaning that when you are running the Windows upgrade assistant tool, it is not going to ask you to install the PC health check tool to check whether the machine is eligible for Windows 11 or not. So that's all we have to do with the proactive remediation detection script. So what I'm going to do because we have to update the remediation script also. That's what I am going to rename this log. And now what I'm going to do, I am now going to update the remediation script. So again for that we have to go to the devices. We have to go to the scripts and remediation. And select the script. So before adding the remediation script, if you go to the device status and check the device status and add a column called pre remediation detection output, we can see that the pre remediation detection output status in the Intune portal. We can see that the system is not on Windows 11 24 H2 and meet the hardware requirement initiating the proactive remediation. And now go to the properties. And then click on edit. And now this time I'm going to update the remediation script. And click on save and click on save. So now I am going to again initiate the script to upgrade the device from Windows 10 to Windows 11. So let me go to the device. Find the device. Click on that device. And then we have to select the run remediation select the script and then click on run remediation and again if we go to the logs we can see that immediately it will create a log called upgrade to windows 11 24 h2 and it will first start the detection script and then it will start the remediation script now if you open the log 
we can see that what is started the detection script and because remediation is required, then it is started the remediation script. And within the remediation script, we can again see that the Windows Autopilot ESP is not running. Again, checking the version, OS version is this, machine OS build version is this, machine large boot at time, machine C drive disk space, free disk space, Windows update service startup type is manual, account sign in assistance service startup type is also manual, update orchestrator service startup type is automatic, last patch Tuesday security KB update install on this machine is this, and then this is the URL information, latest security update KB title is 13th May 2025, system is not on Windows 11 26100, version action required checking the pc health check installation status pc health check application is not installed then downloading the latest windows 11 upgrade assistant tool then it is installing the upgrade assistant tool in this location under the c windows temp upgrade windows 11 24 h2 and this is the assistant and then it is executing the assistant tool and now we can see that the Windows 11 24 upgrade process is running. It means that it successfully executed the assistant tool. And if you go to the task manager and go to the details and search for Windows, you can see that the Windows update 10 upgrade app.exe is running. It means that after some time, possibly within 45 to 60 minutes, based on your hardware, this machine will be upgraded from Windows 10 to Windows 11, and you user will get a notification saying that you have to reboot your machine to upgrade the machine from 10 to 11. So now I am going to pause this video and I will come back when I'm getting a notification to restart the device. And now we can see that user is also getting a notification to restart the machine. Let me click on restart now. And click on close. Let me close all the logs. And now we can see that the machine is now upgraded successfully from Windows 10 to Windows 11 24 H2. And you, if you open the WinWare command, we can see that the machine is on Windows 11 24 H2 Enterprise Edition. So that's all I want to show you in this video, how you can upgrade machine from Windows 10 to Windows 11 24 H2 using Intune Protective Remediation Script. I hope this is an informative video for you. Thank you very much for watching this video.